Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to teach you the very basics of line of sight. Now line of sight can really be as complicated and as complex as you want to make it, but in this video again I'm going to teach you the very basics to not only whet your appetite, but also show you how to add a nice little effect for some of your games to just make it a little bit more realistic. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is you see that skeleton behind the wall. We want him to be totally invisible unless our player kind of goes on the other side of this wall and then sees him. So again, that's called line of sight. Behind the wall, he shouldn't be able to see him, but on the other side of the wall, he should be able to see him just fine. Now to do this, it's actually pretty simple. Let's close the game. What you do is open up your enemy, which in our case is obg under slash enemy, and we add a step event. I'm sorry, by the way, if my cursor is flickering. I don't know if it's going to look like that in the video or not, but uh, I apologize if it is. Okay, so in the step event, you add some code. And basically, this is the code you use. If collision under slash line, and then we type x comma y comma obg under slash player dot x, and then obg under slash player dot y, not you, y. And the next we put in our wall, obg under slash wall, and then the final two, just set it to one and then zero. Okay, now within that, we'll type visible equals uh, false. Else visible equals true. So basically what we're saying is if we're on the other side of this wall, we are invisible. If we are not, we are visible. Uh, what this function is basically doing is drawing an invisible line between our object enemy and our object player. And if this wall or this object is in between that line, then it's going to execute whatever you put within these brackets. And then of course our else statement is saying otherwise uh, don't do that. So again, invisible line from our x and y of our object enemy, an invisible line from our x and y to object player. And if that wall is in the way, it's going to execute this code. Uh, so let's go ahead and test it out. Load up the game here. And there we go. Our enemy is invisible, but when we go on the other side of the wall, boom, there he is. And now we can kill him and attack him and destroy his life. Um, Okay, so that's basically it. One other cool trick I might as well show you, because one problem you might have is the enemy begins to run around the wall after your player. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you how to add some movement into the enemy. So it's pretty much uh, the same concept, except right after visible equals true, you can add in movement script for your enemies. So we could do something like, um, player, ah, if I could type y, speed, okay, so this basically is a movement script which will cause, oh, dang it, I didn't mean to do that at all. This is basically a movement script which you can just copy what I just wrote. It's a movement script that will cause the enemy to walk towards the player's x and y. So if we run the game again, the enemy will just be standing around when our player comes behind the wall, we will not only be able to see the enemy, but the enemy will then chase the player. So let's go ahead and boom, now he's chasing us. Ah, run away. That's basically it, guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or shoot me a message, and I'll be sure to answer your questions. If you like the video, please click like. If you want to see more of these videos, please, it would help out tremendously if you would subscribe to this channel. And also, if you have a tutorial requests or something you want to learn, please leave a comment and let me know of something you'd like me to teach you. Anyway, have a great day, guys.